It was Donald Trump. He made everybody, even if you weren't politically inclined, you suddenly had an opinion. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For sure. Couldn't look away. Yeah. So I didn't have, yeah. there was no political inclinations in my house. My parents were not politically engaged. My grandparents, I, who I grew up for a good portion of my childhood in their home, weren't politically engaged. So I would say I came from a very mm -hmm. apolitical family, but of course left-leaning because you're black and you're supposed to be a Democrat. Yeah, so that's exactly. just kind of the cultural poisoning that goes on. Mm -hmm. In 2015, Trump came on the escalator. I remember thinking, like, I don't want this guy to win mm -hmm. because not because of any reason other than he's an entertainer, you know? Exactly. So to me, it was it was like if someone like Hulk Hogan was running, I would just be like, oh, no, he's an entertainer. <laughs> you know, yeah, it, didn't, yeah. it didn't feel appropriate after Obama was in office. And then I watched a speech that he gave in Dimondale, Michigan, and he made this very interesting elevator pitch to black America. And he was kind of just listing through all of the actual factual statistics in black America of like, this is the poverty rate. This is whatever it is. And at the end, he's just like, I mean, did you try something different? What do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's a pretty good business pitch. 